even, even Victoria PD has never really made uh, the body house or the escort agencies projects. It, it's always been about, uh, and this is in the 90s, uh, this is about uh, doing an undercover operation where we would either dress up our police women as, as uh, sex workers or we would have our men as, as the Johns and the clients. And we thought, wow, we're doing a great job cleaning up the streets and moving people along. And we quickly recognized that it was useless. I mean, we, we really, there was no impact. I don't think we were clear on what our, our goals were. So it, it's been interesting to me to see the, this evolution of policing and, and what's uh, sometimes spun the, the progressive evolution is resource limitations. And so as a police department, we're constantly looking at kind of working within you know, smaller budgets and focusing on priority. And it's easy to start uh, recognizing that the summary conviction offenses, the nuisance issues, the, um, the sex trade and the clients, and when you start getting into the consenting adults, how does that fit when, we're, when there's uh, sexual assaults going on, exploitation, uh, youth being involved? It, it's, it doesn't take much to realize that we're wasting our time worrying about the street level and, and having to focus on and getting more and more calls on uh, the sexual offenders, the predators, the people who are exploiting those involved in the sex trade. So what, what happened naturally, thankfully, is that we've been asking ourselves how do we, when I hear that a small percentage of offenses are reported to police, uh, that scares me. And our, myself and our team and our department have been looking at ways to, how do we get over all the stereotypes around police, the stereotypes around the sex trade, how do we start having conversations to build positive relationships so that we can hear when uh, a worker has been uh, offended against, violated, that we can, that for one, let them know that we care, two, that we are interested <coughs> in finding that person, that in the process, interested in protecting the worker, and um, that Crown, although we don't have reps from here, them here, Crown Council, we're getting a lot of support from our courts when we take and when we're able to work with a worker and, and the support agencies and able to get it to that point, we're actually able to hold offenders accountable. So it's been a really interesting 20 years 